night. We're so excited to have you with us. It's Her Locker and Walker, and we're moving our arms to say stop your scrolling and cook with us tonight because we are going Hawaiian themed. Looks like I have that tree coming right out of the top of my head. <laughs> Let's just pretend like it's a pineapple yeah. balanced on my head. And if you want to hear about what we're doing, we are doing teriyaki chicken and Hawaiian style fried rice because Shane, or Her Locker, is actually Hawaiian and he's going to be teaching me how to do this meal. So we are so excited to have you here with us. We would love to have you comment, tell us where you're watching from, share this on your wall. You can watch it back and fast forward through later if you need to find the exact instructions. And there's also a link to the blog post so you can find step-by-step -step and exact details of what you need for this recipe. So hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good. I'm doing good. I'm really excited because too. This is one of those meals that I've probably made a thousand times. I will make it a certain way today and it won't look, I will never duplicate what I do today again. Because it's one of those meals that if you have a few key ingredients, like for us today it's going to be rice, soy sauce, a little bit of sugar, um, and a protein. If you have those things in your house, you can just add whatever else you want in there to make a really good dish. So. I think that's the sign of a true cook, when they can just be like, hey, what's in your fridge? And I'll just work in these few things that I know about and get it done, which I need better skills. And that's why oh my. Shane's gonna teach me the skills of throwing things together. So it looks like we have some people t chiming in. Hi, Tracy. We are doing good, how are you? And Karina? This is way far away. I need the phone up closer so I can actually see. <laughs> ah, I need glasses. Yeah. So we were going to have a ukulele start to this show, which I think we should have Shane do again. So if you agree with no, that, no. what do you think? Ukulele. Are we going to save it for later? Or do you want to play now? We can play now if you want. Okay, if you guys think Shane should play now a little Hawaiian theme music with this pineapple on my head, give us some likes or some hearts. And let us know. Yeah. And we'll give you a minute because it kind of stalls. Yeah. Hey, um, Melissa. Hey, Rachel. I also, <laughs> I also know that a lot of our, our friends have been having some trouble with Facebook Live yes. tonight. So hopefully... Oh, there's a few hearts. Got a couple hearts. There's a few. Um, so yeah, so hopefully you're not having trouble. If you are, just close out, share it to your wall, um, try back again, watch us later. Yeah, so if it if it cuts out, which it was doing that last week, and it flustered us big time because we'd never dealt with that before. So if you are having connectivity issues, you can just restart it, and it will pick back up to where you left off with us. Or if you don't have time to watch it through from the beginning until the end, you can share it to your wall and watch it later. But we would love for you to stick around the whole time because we love talking with you guys. Hey, Deborah. We do. Hey, Danielle. Okay, I need a, the phone up close. Is it? Should I look at yours? <laughs> Maybe you should like, just look oh. at mine. I was, I was going to try and share mine real quick. Okay, um, to your wall? Yeah, to my wall, but okay. it's being a little funny. I got you. Okay. Wish upon your star. No, not that one. I know, I got you. <laughs> no, no, just to my okay. personal one. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, so if you're just joining us, we're doing Hawaiian fried rice and teriyaki chicken. Um... And I, okay, so speaking of which, I had to um, ask my mom for permission because this is her recipe for sure. Like I'm in dual audio over here. Uh, so this is her recipe. And so I, I thought that was an interesting subject of people who kind of like hold on to recipes and they won't share them. Yes. Um, which thank you to your mother for being so willing to share this recipe because yeah. this is a true and tried Hawaiian recipe that has been passed down through generations and one that you'll want to keep in your home, right? Yeah. Those ish. are like the legit recipes that you want in your house. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, so should we get started? Yeah, let's do okay. this. Okay, so hey, we're going to get started. Hello, Brandon from Billings and Margaret and Rosalind and Christine and Angie and Tracy. We're so excited you guys Thanks are here with us tonight. Thank hey, you so much. Hello, everyone. We love having interaction from you guys on, and because there's two of us, it's e it's easier for me to check in at least because Shane's hands, especially during this episode, 
are going to be a little bit busier. So if you have any questions or anything, just let me know. Hey, Melissa, and we'll talk to you. We will. Yes. Because we like to talk to you. I need sugar. 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 I'll get you sugar. Okay, so we're going to get this started. And the first thing that you're going to need is we're going to prep our, our teriyaki chicken. Typically, you do this the day before or at least two hours before. And um, if you share if you share this video, you'll see the whole description and you'll see the, the recipe will yep. be in there. Mm -hmm. um, but you, for teriyaki chicken, for good teriyaki chicken, you only need three ingredients. You need your chicken, obviously. Obviously. Boneless, skinless. Yes. Uh, I, you, you can pick any cut that you like, but you're gonna want it to be about the thickness of your thumb. Okay. You know, when it's all said and done uh, for cooking, because today I'm gonna pan fry it. You can boil it, you can bake it, you can broil it. There's a bunch of different ways you can do this, but today we're gonna pan fry it. Okay. Um, and then you need sugar and sugar. soy sauce, and you Perfect. need equal parts of those. Okay. So How much you know, sugar do you want me to get? I, I don't know, because I couldn't find your, there you go. Okay, let's do, let's do like a third cup. Oh, okay. Um, oh, that's some wonderful noise. <laughs> Slushy, slushy. Okay, so in Hawaii, there's this. Hi, Jesse and Maria. And Maria, thank you for sharing. We appreciate that. Yes, thank you. Um, in Hawaii, there's like this battle between. Uh, the dark side and the good side. Yeah, and the the dark side and and the good side are yeah. also known as Kikoman and Aloha soy sauce. Okay. I won't tell battle you. Battle of the soy sauces. Yeah, battle of the soy sauces. Everyone's got an opinion about it in Hawaii. And I won't, you know, say which is the dark side and which is the light side, but this is where it's at. Kikoman. Do you want to hold I'll hold it up. Oh, oh. Oh, you got it? Oh, maybe. So maybe. if you agree, give us some hearts. Yeah. That's the kind I've always used in my home. It's just got know. the best flavor. I didn't know there it was a thing. Okay, we I didn't need, know it was a battle. We need a third cup of this. Oh, I was gonna do that for you. Sorry. That's okay. Um, I need just a little bit more if you okay. want to. Yep. Okay, so you just want to mix this up. Okay. And all of your intuition is going to tell you, oh, I got some hearts from my kikama. Yes, kikama. To use a spoon or anything like that. But this is not what you're using today. You are cooking Hawaiian, and there's only way to, one way to do that, and that's with your hands. Oh, okay. So, Camille, if Am you I don't, doing that? I do you want to? Okay. Let me take my rings off. <laughs> don't want to lose a ring in, yeah. the, in the soy sauce. Um, so, the reason why you're going to mix this with your hand is because it takes a while. Oh. And sorry, I, I should yeah. Yeah, you can stick two hands in there. I like massage it. Yeah, it's like massaging yeah. the, the soy sauce and the sugar. So the reason why you're gonna do this with your hand hey, Timory. is if you Ooh, um I'm supposed to be paying attention to you. Yeah, no, you're good. If you if you don't do it this way, your your chicken's gonna be a little grainy because the sugar won't dissolve. So what you're actually oh. doing is helping the sugar dissolve. Making it, sure that it totally dissolves in there. Yeah, because it's so concentrated. You know, we we only added two ingredients in here. Okay. So so just tell how does it feel? It's still gritty. Hi Sarah. <laughs> this is yeah, I've never done this before. <laughs> this is the first time massaging sugar into kikamon. Yeah. It's good, right? Yeah. Um, so while she's doing that, I'm just, I'm just. Hi, kind Connie. Of, Thanks for sharing, Connie. We appreciate that. Hi. While she's, while she's mixing. While I'm massaging the kikamon. Massaging the kikamon. Yes. Um, I'm just, I got the boneless, skinless, and I like to just pull off all the little bits of fat. Mm -hmm. Not my favorite. No. Um, it's only been recently that I've done a better job of actually touching raw meat. I struggle. Oh. I do not like touching full chickens. <laughs> no. In fact, in my college cooking class, mm -hmm. we had to like take a whole chicken. We didn't have to defeather it. Defeather it? Sheesh. But we had to do everything else. Take mm -hmm. out all the junk and all the, the innards. All the innards and like cook each thing the way that it should be cooked. Ooh. And I was like, why? I'll buy my chicken breasts at the store. <laughs> That's so that is a little ridiculous that I don't I just don't like to do it, but I, I'm sorry. I just don't. No, I totally hear that. Who, like, let's hear some shout outs from yes. you guys who likes touching meat, because I don't I know struggle. that anyone really I does. I struggle with that. Thank um, you. So you know what broke me? And, and Timory says we are funny. And yes, we're <laughs> making teriyaki chicken. Thanks for saying we're funny. Hi, it's Patricia from 29K Feet sending my love to Shane and Camille. Aww. <gasps> no way. Wait. Oh, you're in a 
a plane. That's your mama. That's my mom. My mom. Hi, mom. How cool is that? She's on a plane. Sending messages from the airplane. From 29,000 feet. That That's is pretty, pretty cool. pretty epic. Thank you. I was um, going to say, who far, who's the farthest? Do you think she qualifies? Yeah, because she's like up in, in the, the air. She's yeah. like almost in outer space. So. She's basically an astronaut. Yeah, she's basically an astronaut. <laughs> um... That's cool. Okay, so the so doesn't bother Sarah. She's okay with touching. She's okay with touching it raw. <laughs> Are you good with massaging and stuffing? I mean, seriously. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like Thanksgiving dinner gives me anxiety a little bit because of that whole process. <laughs> like you gotta love on it just right. Yeah. Doesn't well, bother me at all, says Melissa. See, she is legit. Yeah. She knows what she's doing. You know what? So I, I used to be super. See, I'm, maybe I'm just the abnormal one. I'm I used abnormal. Mm -hmm. Well, I used to be super weird about it, and then I worked in a restaurant. Yeah. And, like, one day I came in and had to prep chicken for just, like, three hours straight. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, I'm over that now. Yeah. You know what just I mean? Just deal with it. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. So, okay, if you're just tuning in, we're doing Hawaiian fried rice. Hi, Barbara. And Hawaii, Hawaiian fried rice. Mm -hmm. Family recipe. Yeah. You just answered the question. She asked, yeah. Oh really? She said, "What are you making tonight?" Yep, Hawaiian fried rice and teriyaki chicken, and I'm just getting our chicken prepped. And Camille, how is that feeling? You so, mostly done. Okay, so you don't when you when it's done, you won't feel anything. There will be nothing grainy happening. In still there. happening. Okay. So we're still great. We're still massaging. Still massaging. We're matching again. Are we? We tried not to. <laughs> <laughs> and we really didn't need to. No. But no. I guess anything with black and white would be. Yep. Yeah, it would be matching. We, I It'd know. Match again. We can't help it. Yeah. Most women like to touch meat. Really? Oh my. Oh, but she maybe she's just being funny. Is she? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> maybe you're being funny. Maybe it's a thing, and I just don't know. <laughs> maybe men. Yes. Okay, I can. I, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Naughty Sarah says Rick. <laughs> hey Rick, how you doing? Oh, Rick's back. Yeah, hey, Rick. we like Rick to be around. Um, so yeah. So, I have a surprise. What for you? What? But I can't give it to you now because my hands are massaging Kikama. Oh man. So you're just gonna have to wait. Well, now I'm anxious. Oh, so let's go back to talking about sharing recipes. Okay. So, I want to know, do you have a family recipe that you would not share? Is there one that is just so sacred that you wouldn't do that? I'm yeah. curious to know. And if you do, tell us, just tell us the name of it. You don't have to give us the details. Just yeah. say what it is. Yeah, no, you don't have to share your secrets. Yeah. But do you have a secret? That's do, what we yeah. want to know. Yeah, we're, we're not secret keepers around here. And Sarah so. says she was being funny. Oh, okay. I totally agree with you now, Sarah. <laughs> We added that tree to be more Hawaiian. Are you feeling like? Do you feel like you're in the Hawaiian? tropics right now? Aloha. Yeah. Um, we, and there's another plant over there. You just can't see it apparently. Yeah, we'll move the camera around when we are doing something really special. Yeah. I make an award-winning, an award-winning chili, says Rick. Oh, Rick. What kind of chili is it? What kind it? of chili? What's in it? I'm kind of a big fan of the white chicken chili. Really? I like regular chili too, but I. I like the white chicken chili. Can we? You know what? What? We, He's won eight straight cook-offs with it. What? That is legit. Get it, Rick? So here's the thing. Do you share that recipe? Yeah, or is it a secret? It must be a secret. Because I think if you're competing... Maintain your... The status. The status. Yeah. You might have to keep that one a secret. Okay, we're almost there. The grittiness is... I think we're good. We just overcame the gritty. Really? Nice no gritty. Good. All around. All around. Is there no gritty? Let me make sure. I think we're good. Okay. Hi, Kyle. Thanks for joining us. Okay. Yep. It's good. It's okay. Good. So here's the thing. Okay. Is you can stop right here. If that's all, if you have those ingredients and you don't have any of the other ingredients that I'm going to do, you can stop right there okay. and you're good. You're going to marinate that for, you know, do the day before, at least two hours before to give it some time. Okay. But I'm going to show you kind of some of the, the add-ons for, uh, you know, to kind of give it a little little extra special kick. Should I wash you know? up or do you want me to keep my hands dirty? Uh, you can wash up. Okay. You are good. Um, here, can you get that wet while you're over there? Yep. Thanks. Okay, so there's a few things I'm going to add in. Um, this is mirin. It's, uh, it's a sweet cooking rice seasoning. 
That's what it says. I just read it. Um, but we'll do like a couple tablespoons of that in there. Um, we're also going to add in some. Do you have that garlic? Yep. How okay. much do you need? Um, like a tablespoon or three. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> One or three? Yeah, whatever you're feeling. What are you um, feeling? I'm feeling like three. Three? You guys like garlic? We're going to be crying garlic. I like garlic. Yes. Marinade is sugar and soy sauce right now. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Amanda. And thank you, Angie, for updating. So we had in the marinade sugar, a third cup, equal parts to soy sauce, and you needed to massage it with your hands to make sure that all the grittiness was gone, that it was completely dissolved. How'd I do? Yeah, you did great. Yeah? Yeah, and we First got a bunch time. of likes for garlic. So. Yeah, and garlic so I think it's good. I think it's going to be three, three. Oh, Betty, thank you. She says, y'all are awesome. Oh, Betty, we yeah, love you. Yeah, that's so that's awesome. Y'all. Y'all. Are you from know. Texas? I, I, I was going to say, the Carolinas. Carolinas? Texas? Or Texas. Let us know where you're from. Love garlic, says Sarah. Oh, it's so good. Garlic is really good. Unless it's your first date. And, and then it's not. And then it's not. You should just avoid all things garlic on a first date. <laughs> yeah. Or you're a vampire. Yep. Okay. So you were saying... Let's do three. Three? Yeah. Where am I adding this? Right in there. Just in here. Okay. Yep. Just in the marinade. Gotcha. So we put some sweet rice vine wine vinegar. It's not wine. So this is it's a half sweet cooking rice. tablespoon, so I'm going to do six. So if you're watching and you're like, she's adding too much, <laughs> that's why. In case people are checking up on me. Yeah. Sorry, I interrupted you. Oh, no, you're good. Okay. So we added about a, like a tablespoon of the, of the, the vinegar, okay. the mirin vinegar. Uh, it's just cooking vinegar. And you're doing the, th the three tablespoons is what we decided on. Okay, so does everybody know this ginger trick? I hope you do because I love it. So you get your ginger wet. Okay. And you take a spoon and just a regular metal spoon. And then you <gasps> just kind of, the dog wants to go outside. <laughs> Hold um, on. Help, can you tell us your trick? <laughs> he wants to know the trick. Jane. He wants to know the trick. Poppy, okay. this is the trick. Hold you on. see this? Um, so you you just you peel off all of the all the skin with your metal spoon, and you know till you've got just your 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 naked ginger. It's like naked now, and then we're gonna grate about a, a tablespoon or three, whichever you're feeling, um, of that a fresh ginger into the marinade. We, we, put, we let the dog outside. I think he wants to howl at his friends. Yeah. Is that what's probably, happening? There's deer back there, too. Oh, there's deer. We have deer. Well, honestly, he hasn't been out much today because... So we had pest control come over today to do... Or spray bugs or whatever because it's spring. There's lots mm -hmm. of bugs. And I thought that the guy that came over and sprayed let the dog out. So I even messaged my neighbors and was like, has anyone seen She's like neighborhood watch. Yeah. Looking for it. We have sweet neighbors that will, you know, send him back on his way to our house. He just likes to explore. And it wasn't until a few hours later that I went and got my baby from having a nap. And Poppy had just been in there the whole time. <laughs> for a few hours, I didn't even know. And thank goodness he wasn't barking because that would have ended badly. But so he's been inside a lot today. So he's probably like, get me he's out of here. He's ready for the outdoors. Yeah. For sure. So I'm just grating this fresh ginger into um, into the marinade. Um, again, like... Oh, Darren says, good luck, Kyle. I'm his cousin and can't even get him to say hi to me. Shoots Kanaka. <laughs> Is that your cousin? Who? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's my cousin. Uh, Kyle. Hi, Kyle. I'll say hi to you. And Darren. What's up, brother? Uh, yeah. So there, hi. I said both of you. I said hi to both of you guys. And Rick says, if you have never tried papaya in your marinade, you're missing an experience. That is not something I have tried. And Kyle wants you to say hi to Vegas. Hi Vegas. I love you. I miss you. I even posted that we were going nine o'clock Mountain Standard Time, and then in parentheses I put that's eight o'clock for you, Vegas. See? Just because I'm from Vegas. All the love. So. He's sending the love. Yeah. Okay. So what was the trick with the ginger? I missed it. You said oh. peel the skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So peel the skin with a spoon, like the back of a spoon. Yeah. And it just comes right off. 
Oh, okay. And then, and then you After can, you get it wet. Yeah, and then you have like a naked ginger and you just grate it right and in there. And then mince it? Yeah. Yeah, I originally got that mini mincer for my garlic. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rachel Ray. <laughs> Before I bought this that's already minced for you. It's a handy little friend. That's awesome. Uh, if you're just joining us, we're doing Hawaiian fried rice and teriyaki chicken. Your mom and says right the now, reception is tough. Oh, uh, reception's tough. So, Facebook has been having some problems? Is and that Darren what says to you. Um, well, I don't know. I'm curious about the reception for those of you who are watching with us tonight. If it's going okay for you. She's not in an airplane. But, She's on an airplane. Yeah, so I don't feel like it necessarily yeah, is the same that's story. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So, if you have a good connection, let us know. Because that's really good. Because Facebook has been really spotty tonight. Yeah. With their service. So, yeah. Let us know. Give us... Oh, you know what? It's actually kicked me out a couple times. Oh, really? So, if you're having connection problems, which is happening tonight a lot then go ahead and you can share this to your wall and you can check back in with it later or just keep refreshing it, which I had to do a few times too. Yeah. And Melissa so said it's been a little rough. Andy said she's been kicked off five times. Uh, I'm so sorry, you guys. It's been a Facebook issue. Yeah, so just share it and then yeah. tune in later. Give us a watch after. Yeah. You can keep refreshing it and just come right mm -hmm. back in, which we would love. Or if you need to check out, we totally get it and you can share it to your wall too and you can check in later. So Totally. Yeah, we'd love for you to try and stick around. Yeah, Barbara said it's been pausing all of them tonight. Man, well that stinks. Yeah. But it happens. It happens. Okay, so we're getting the chicken into the marinade. Mm -hmm. And you want to have this sit, preferably for two hours. Right? At least. At least. And then, but if you can do overnight, that's best. Overnight is best. So I like to put things in a Ziploc bag, or would you oh, yeah. suggest you would do it that so, way? Well, I, I do it both ways. Okay. This is just the way my mom always did it. She'd always put it in like a Tupperware container, like a flat Tupperware container, okay. let it sit. A shallow one. Yeah, and then she'd like, she would even flip it sometimes, you know, like in the morning or whatever, mm -hmm. just flip it over. Get so. the other side. Mm -hmm. okay. um, since we are, we're doing it right here, we're gonna be cooking it later, we can kind of just hand tenderize it a little bit, or okay. if, you, if you have a tenderizer, we can do whatever I have else. one, do you yeah. want one? You just, Will it get you splashy? I don't know. We can just do it with our hands then. We can be Hawaiian about it. It's let's fun. be Hawaiian about it. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's get the... Since I'm going to be doing this, can yep. you help me with the other thing? Yep. Okay, so let's get our Spam and our bacon prepped. I've never touched Spam before. <laughs> okay. This is happening right now, guys. This is this is basically what makes it Hawaiian. Spam does? <laughs> I don't know. I am absolutely not Hawaiian. I wish I was. Hawaii consumes the most amount of spam out of any other state. Really? Mm -hmm. It's a thing. It's a thing. That's what keeps it in business. Yep. Okay. <laughs> what is spam? So it's pork. Oh, see, I don't even. I don't yeah. Even know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's it's like it's you know. It's an easier pork, access. Pork bits, shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Various pork parts. Yes. Um, no shame. Is that what you said? Oh, go shame. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now you have to read the comments because I am. Angie has the Tupperware marinade container as well. Yes, like the old school yeah. like orange Tupperware yes. container. My yeah. mom would always pack us sandwiches in those shallow Tupperware mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. we could just pack around with us when, wherever. Well, yeah. They don't really sell those much anymore. No, like I never the see big, them. Like the big, the big yeah, I, I have love one that's those. like a medium size that's pretty shallow. And yeah, big, Angie knows what's up. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you're gonna want to get that out of the can. What's the best way? Fork the whole thing? Or no, what? so like there's kind of like a little trick. You kind of okay. just squeeze it. Okay. And it kind of gets rid of the um, seal. This is I've never done this with one hand. I can do that. Okay, yeah, you do that. Okay. Um, Maybe. Or you can just yeah get a fork and grab it out. Oh my gosh. Spam owns me right now. <laughs> okay, there, there we go. There you go. Okay, so there, I'm going to have you cut this a nice certain way. Slushy sound. So uh, put it, lay it down on its side. Okay. And I use that to cut the chicken, I'm sure it's fine. Okay. Um, cut it directly in half. Okay. This okay. is important. This is, this is spam cutting 101. Okay. So you yeah, cut okay. it directly in half. Okay. And then cut those halves directly in half. Okay. No! Long oh, ways. like long ways. Yeah, keep long ways. Gotcha. Okay, okay so that was that was a dangerous whew, moment. Whew. I just throwing you for a little. That was my anatomy and physiology final exam just there. 
I, I, I got a D in anatomy and physiology. Did it like spam? Well, no. It, yeah, it was spam. We were, we were dissecting spam. We were dissecting a sheep's brain, and I cut oh. it. I cut it the wrong way. Oh. Like I read the sh instructions, and I was supposed to cut, you know, like long ways, like yeah. posterior, anterior, whatever. Yeah. And I cut the other way, oh. and like failed. <laughs> my first cut too like I was supposed to make oh. a couple of cuts and so yeah that I was I never took an anatomy class yeah it was funny okay now cut those halves in half the same way yep same okay. long ways halves in half okay. if you're just joining us and you're having connection problems it's been happening all night but if you're just joining us we're doing Hawaiian fried rice and teriyaki chicken and right now I'm just kind of did forcefully marinating the teriyaki chicken what's up did you say all of them in half yep I don't yep. want to cut the brains the wrong way yeah don't okay. cut the brains the wrong way um, yeah, and yeah. Do you use all of the spam in the recipe? Um, we won't be tonight. Because it's just, just smaller. Yeah. But like usually when I cook, I use the whole thing. The whole thing, okay. Yeah, so then what you're going to do is you're going to group it all back together like okay. it was one unified. Happy family. And then you're going to come at it from this side and cut it the other way and you're going to get these long strips. Okay, how many times do you want me to cut it? Um, just, just do it like maybe like four like cuts. Like that thickness? Uh, a little bit shorter. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So we've got our heat on, and we're gonna get, we're gonna cut, we're gonna cook our spam and our bacon for the Hawaiian fried rice. How are you guys? I'm cutting spam. <laughs> I'm like way absorbed in this spam right now. <laughs> They're like spam French fries. Yeah. Okay. Hey Amanda, how's it going? We should do an episode. Hey guys. Thanks for rejoining us. I know that it's kind of being a pain in the butt. Okay, so we're gonna turn up our heat just a little bit, uh, like a, a medium low heat. Okay. We can turn it up a little bit for to get this going, but take about half of that and then the bacon and let's get that frying. Okay. Together? Uh, yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> okay. This, you want it in this guy? Yep, no, right there. This, I, guy? this one's got heat on, okay. so. Um, Okay, so, oh, you know what I really wanted to talk about? What? Road Tell trip me. snacks. Yes. Okay. You, you, you just drove back from Vegas. Yeah, I just drove back from Vegas. How much of this? All of that. Just right in there. Yep. Okay. I mean, lay it out so it'll yeah. cook, but, um, so we're just adding some bacon and spam, and we're going to fry that up. Okay, for all those spam haters out there, there's a few things. A, you've probably... Half the people have never even tried it. They're just like, oh, that's gross. The other half of those um, have not had it cooked properly. And the rest of you haven't had it cooked by me. So, so don't hate on Spam. It's really good. Um, I just bought the normal kind. There's like 30 different flavors now and low sodium and all this stuff. And I'm like, if I'm going to eat Spam, like I'm just going to eat some Spam. Just embrace it. And just embrace the fact that you're eating Spam. Oh yeah, I'm getting lots of likes for spam. You guys know what's up. Um, so yeah, 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 yeah. Where, oh, so road trip snacks. Yeah, tell me. Okay, okay, okay. So I just drove down from Vegas. Thanks for all my spam likes and Vegas likes. Yeah, spam lovers unite. Um, and I, I have a new snack that my mom just got me. Okay, so my mom, on all holidays, right, mm -hmm. gets a present for everyone. Oh, wow. So it was Mother's Day and we all had presents. Oh. Like, good thing we all got her something. You know what that I mean? That could have been awkward. That could have been awkward. <laughs> but, but we definitely, so yeah, so we, we all got presents. And one of the presents I got, which is just over here, I don't know if okay. you want to grab yeah, that. Yeah, I'll grab it. This guy? Yeah. Can I just say, this is in no way, I am not being paid to say any of this. This is just amazing. I'm going to hold it up tight to the. Okay, so Annie Chun's Seaweed Crisps, oh, the original. Okay, there's like two ingredients in here. One is seaweed, the other one is brown rice. And my mom just got this for me a couple days ago for Mother's Day. This was my part of my mother's. Because she's amazing. Because she's amazing. And... Seaweed crisps. Yeah, so do you like seaweed? No. Okay, so you have I to mean, try I don't some. Know. <laughs> Um, Am I a mermaid? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I might. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'll probably yeah. really like that. Let me check on the spam because I don't know. Yeah, so your spam's cooking. We've got it on like a, a medium heat. 
and you you just want it crispy on all the sides, so you kind of okay. gotta move it around. For everything. Yeah, and then just cook your bacon. Um, I like to do it pretty crispy, that way it just goes well in the uh, in the fried rice. But, is this almost gone, or is it just really lightweight? Oh, it's really lightweight, and it's almost gone. So because, you love it? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, it's really good. I feel like you need to give them a close up of what one of them looks like. I will too. do that. Okay, so I'm gonna set our chicken aside for now. And we're gonna do that last, so it's got a little bit of time. What in the world is this? Yeah. Hey, this is bizarre. Okay, I'm gonna hold it up. Okay. Close. Okay, and then like flip it over. Oh, you're good. Come back towards you more. <laughs> this is trippy because it's yeah. like. Yeah. So it's a seaweed, and it's brown rice on one side and seaweed on the other, and it's like a it's like a chip. It's like a cracker. But it's, it's got like nothing in it. The serving size is an eighth of this container. Cause they're oh. like, they're just, you're not it's eating It's like a much. trisket, but healthy. Yeah. Wait, I'm gonna eat that. <laughs> she hates it. <laughs> She's all like trying to be a good sport about it over here. It tastes like the smell that you breathe in when you're changing a fish tank. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently I love that, t that taste because... You are Hawaiian. I am Hawaiian, but... Anyways, okay, so what I want to hear from you guys... Yeah, like I'm right up there with my goldfish. Like we could be like this. You're friends with your goldfish right now? Okay, I love you. So what are your favorite road trip snacks? I want to hear what you guys have to say. But if you're being healthy, like I can see how that could maybe be okay. Yeah, super good. Thanks, Rick. Spam is awesome. Sarah, I've never have, I never have eaten Spam. Sarah, give it a try. Fry it up like this. You can have it for breakfast in place of bacon or something like that. So good. Typical like Hawaiian breakfast, Spam and rice and it's a mix. Really? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, super good. I think of Spam as like survival food. Like if you were oh well, it was it was invented for like the military. Okay. So yeah, it, yeah. it is. So it is. Mm -hmm. But it just has some good qualities. Yeah, but Hawaiians were like, but it tastes good. It's salted pork, like of course, yeah, it of just course. Gets a bad rap. Yeah, it does get a bad rap. Um, Rick says these chips are awesome. I got some from Japan. Way to go, Rick. I'm gonna like your comment. He likes you. Love, love, love. You are a pro. Thanks, Angie. Hey, but Rick, honestly, does it kind of taste like the inhalation of a fish tank? <laughs> They're so good! They're so good! Maybe it's like a salt and vinegar thing, like the more you eat the better they get. Yeah. Plus I grew up on seaweed. Oh. Like I grew up eating seaweed. Used to that. Oh yeah, I love it. Okay. Okay, so a couple people got back to us. Um Cheez Its. Cheez Its. Sarah loves Cheez Its. Oh, Cheez Its from uh -huh. trip. Yeah. Oh my goodness, someone Colton. Yep, I did. I did make it in the mission. Um we made this food. Tonight. Oh, cool. Plantain chips, red licorice, Maria, red, red licorice. licorice. Good. I'm trying to think what my favorite thing is. I do like salt and vinegar chips. chips, actually. What are some other group road trip foods? I like to have something that a little bit of everything. Yeah. The salty, the sweet, you gotta mix it up a little bit. I know, do you see? Like, just, uh, just, um. Do you want me to get in tight of that sauce? Um, we, let's do it when do they you guys cook wanna, more. Oh. Do you want to get in close to the shot and see the cooking spam? <laughs> this is your first time, like me. <laughs> Dip any chip in chocolate. It's good. Ooh. Oh, so you're saying the salty and the sweet. I've heard mm -hmm. people doing that. There's even um, chocolate. Isn't there chocolate too? Like chocolate covered chocolate. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Pretty sure I've heard of that. Hey, can we talk about all these things? Yes. All these things came out of my car Trail on my mix. drive. Sarah likes trail mix. Oh, Sarah, that's what's up. Okay. Dear Costco, thank you for making this a thing. What this is, is it? It's just mangoes. There's nothing yet. Ingredients. Organic mango. Oh, yeah. I have mangoes. So okay. good. Super good. Thanks, Costco. That Love is, you. That is a good snack, too, because you don't feel guilty eating all of it. My sister found this at an Asian store. Vitamix. They're fruit chips, and they come in a lot of different, uh, there's like, you know, Banana and sweet potato and a bunch of different things in there. Super good. Do you want to try these to get that? Baked snap pea chips. Oh, those are good. Those are good. Well, you know what Costco has that I love mm. is the chicka, chicka boom, like popcorn. Mm. I don't know what it's called. 
Don't eat the green one, but try something else. What's the green one? It's bitter like melon. Oh. Hmm, good. Super good. Okay. I won't make her try this one. I'll try it. But this is, this, is, this is cuttlefish. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll try it. No. This is one of my, like that, another one of my favorites. Like a, it's like a favorite? Oh, yeah. You're being real? Oh, I'm being so serious right now. It's squid. It's, okay. dried, it's basically squid jerky. Super good. I'm not opening it, though, because, you know, I like does it. Does it smell bad? It does smell bad. It's, it's squid. It's like squid. I don't know what to tell you. So is this something you ate as a kid? Oh, yeah. As a Hawaiian? Oh, yeah, definitely. In Hawaii, we get all the goods. I'm not kidding. So every trip, because we went to Hawaii every year, so all my family was there. And minimum, minimum five pounds when you get back. Oh, from eating all the Oh, things. yeah. Minimum. I'm like at 10 now. It's pretty, pretty exciting. Okay, do you want a camera and I'll do this? Yep, I'm going to get in there tight. Okay. So we're just uh, frying up our spam. I moved our heat to medium because it wasn't cooking fast enough. But you want to get this prepped for your fried rice. Camille's gonna grab the camera and get in close. Hello, I'm gonna flip you around here. I'm on this side of you. So, okay, you see this color right here? Right there? This is the color we're looking for when the spam is done. So, we kinda just, you know, I kinda move it around, get it cooked on all sides, and then when it's good, we'll pull it out. Um, and then this bacon, we're gonna, once it's crispy, we're just gonna chop it. Okay. And so, you know, kind of more bite-sized stuff. But This is tripping me out because it's like opposite of what I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Vince, my toddler, can eat an entire bag throughout the day. Margarita, are you talking about this squid? Squid chips are almost like rice cake consistency, says Rick. Oh yeah, yeah, they have like squid and This is pepper chips. bacon, right? Yeah, that's peppered bacon. I, I, it's just what I had. So, it, this is this is that. That's the thing about fried rice is you can throw in whatever whatever protein you have available. Liz vegetables. says, "OMG, this is so amazing." Yeah, that's what's up, Liz. Liz, have you tried spam before? That's what I need to know. Um. So yeah, just lots of. Uh, Lots of flipping. Look at here. that sizzle and dizzle. Yeah. See, because whenever people talk to me about spam, I'm just like, you now, did you have it straight out of the can? Because that <laughs> to me sounds disgusting. Or yeah. Like, people talk about spam sandwiches. I've never had a spam sandwich, but I've probably eaten more spam than everyone tuning in right now. Um, I'm sh I'm sure they're good. I just haven't had one yet because I eat it like spam was to be. It's like a slab of spam hey, rice wrapped in seaweed. Really? Super good. You Rick's, can get that at 7-Eleven in Hawaii. Really? Yeah, that's at a 7-Eleven in Hawaii. Rick says all we need are eggs and cheddar cheese on a huge French bread. Ooh, that's good. I love a good baguette. Yes, you do. I do too. Mm -hmm. I need to get to France is the thing. Yeah. Hey, Josie. Is it just on my face still? Pretty much. <laughs> Work it. Work, work. You're getting some likes and some flowers. Shane, Ethan knew I hated spam because of the smell. He would cook it when I was gone, and I would die when I would get home. Who is Stanky, this? Angie. Oh. D. D. Rick. Derek. Derek. Ethan. Ethan's her son, and he's living in Australia right now. Oh, lucky. Mm -hmm. That would be a cool place to be. Yep. I love spam. So good. I like never buy it now though, cause, cause like man, it'll make you fat. <laughs> Speaking of, okay, I need yeah, to. Yeah, look at this deliciousness. So we're like getting really close here. I like it crispier. Hi Paloma from North California. That's getting pretty crispy. Yeah. So are we getting close? Oh yeah. I'm gonna You're pull gonna... the bacon off. Oh, you need a bigger plate. Um, that's fine. Hi, Paloma. How's the weather? We had rain today in Utah. 
I'm getting excited about school getting out, I tell ya. I'm done with homework. I didn't think I would have to do so much homework after I was done with school myself. Spam comes in several flavors now. Jalapeno is awesome. So in Hawaii, there's a store, it's called uh, like Don Quixote. Uh -huh. And first of all, they have an entire aisle of rice cookers. If you, here's a, here's a, here's a, get a close look at my rice cooker. It's probably the cutest thing ever. It's a dainty little thing. Look at that. Look at it next to a, a can of Spam. This rice cooker is more traveled than most people. <laughs> my Auntie Kule picked this up for my, uh, for me, for, for my mom. My mom was giving it to me in Australia because she flies for Hawaiian. And then my mom picked it up from my Auntie Kule in Hawaii. And then she brought it to me in Vegas. And this thing has traveled with me when I lived in Missouri and Illinois. Wow. It, it went with me. It's been to, I think, California and Utah now. So it's a well-traveled. Yes, it is. <laughs> so Paloma says, overcast, no rain yet, but still in the 80s. That sounds lovely. Ooh. Ooh that just shot me. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Really and Rick like says, sunny shield. Florida with afternoon rains. That sounds nice, too. One of my favorite rainstorms I got caught in was in Florida, and it just, out of nowhere, was like a monsoon, and we just went out and played in the rain. It was so much fun. Oh, that sounds awesome. It's probably very much a Utah reaction. The Floridians yeah. are probably like, go for cover. <laughs> it is really interesting to see how people react. Thank you, Tracy. Rain. Freezing in Tasmania. Whoa. Oh, hey, Tasmania. That's awesome, Christine. I mean, not that it's freezing, but that you're in Tasmania. Yeah. Early morning for me, says Vince. Night. I'll enjoy. Have a good night, Vince. Thanks for checking in with us. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Okay, I'm just pulling off some of these more crispy ones. And if you're just joining us, Hawaiian fried rice and teriyaki chicken are, is what we're doing tonight. Um, and we're just getting all of the meat cooked that's going to go in the fried rice. And um, as soon as we get this, it's going to come together really quickly once all the prep work here is done. Perfect. Rick says the storms only last a few minutes. Yeah, it was crazy like that. It was just like fast and furious, crazy, crazy rain, and then it was over. Um, I forgot. Tracy said we're not matching today. <laughs> you know what? We actually thought we're like, gosh, should that be a thing? We even talked about it, and then we're like, no, nah, let's just see what happens. So technically, we're just going to see. If, uh, if any of my exes are tuning in right now. Oh, uh, they speak to your exes, Shane. <laughs> what do you have to say? <laughs> There's a lot of hearts. There's a lot of hearts. Do you have unfinished business? Let's talk about this. <laughs> They're all married. They're all married. Okay. Um, but most, mostly just one, but we... Mostly just one's married or... No, no, mostly just one about this story. Oh, okay. Uh, we would like... Like, I'm not kidding, like 90% of the time, we would show up, you know, or I'd pick her up, or um, she'd pick me up, or whatever, and we'd be wearing, like, we'd be matching. We'd have the same color, <laughs> we'd be wearing stripes, or whatever. It was just, I don't know, so, kind of funny. Yeah, that is so funny. Kind of funny. Thanks, Rick. We put it up there. It's usually on the floor. It's not usually on my counter, but we just put that up here for the Hawaiian-themed. Yeah situation going on Did you see the other plant back there? although i should keep this tree on my counter because my one-year-old he's almost one he loves to dig in the dirt and make a big mess on the floor patty arrived in arizona back with you again oh hey. that was fast yeah it's a it's like a 45 minute flight oh nice Vegas to arizona. okay um i need to get this drained and you should stall with something, Camille, because I have to think about what I'm doing. Okay, I will stall. <laughs> but I need the camera back. Okay, yeah. Go okay. Ahead. Did you flip? No, I'm not flipping. Okay, so for those of you who have tuned in with us, let's see the lighting. Is it better here? Yeah. Okay, so I don't know for those of you who are with us our first episode, but we talked about mushrooms and how Shane went and found mushrooms like out in the wild and I didn't dare eat them. Um, if you heard that episode, give me some likes so I know that, or maybe you didn't, I don't know if you were there or not, but Shane kind of has a thing for mushrooms. So I have a surprise for him that he does not even know about, 
that is gonna go down right now. And I need to set this phone somewhere so you won't see. <laughs> you guys can come with me into my pantry over here. Maybe I'll show it to you before he sees it. Oh man, that lipstick rocks. Thanks, Rick. Oh, don't look, it's a secret. Okay, so check this out. Huh? Oh, and the dog is gonna get in the shot. What is this? Surprise, Shane! <laughs> what is, is this all the like They're mushrooms? They're mushrooms! <laughs> Now when you go hunting for your mushrooms, you I have a cheat sheet. I can identify what they are. Yes. Ta -da. That's cool. It has the names and then like the numbers listed to them. That's really exciting. Can you Wait. find the one that you found out in the wild? <laughs> Wait, what language is this in? I don't even know. <laughs> is it in a different language? I think so. <laughs> Yeah, you really I got this know. for me? Yeah. I need some art on my wall. Well, there you this go. This is like perfect. Yeah. Or in my kitchen. Happy mushroom hunting. Thank you. You'll just have to speak whatever language is on yeah. the poster. Yeah, it looks like, it looks very, um. Let's see if they might know. This looks very like um, Icelandic yeah, type. Yeah. Uh, what are they, what's that? I'm going to flip called? this back around so you can see. Um, like Nordic or. Maybe you just have to go to, um... My ex served in Norway. Maybe she should Oh, well. Maybe she's doing this. That's so cool. That's a great tool to safely hunt shrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Maria says, ha ha, Shane loves mushrooms. Perfect. Okay, so Maria thinks that I hate mushrooms. Oh, this is like a behind-the-scenes yeah. tip. Yeah, but I, but I don't. I just don't always want a mushroom, I think is the thing. Okay. Like, if every, like I don't want mushrooms for breakfast unless it's in my eggs. <laughs> Got it. You don't want like one big shroom to munch out of? There you go. Oh, spam it up. Okay. Okay. We're ready to throw this fried rice together. So you guys want to see what goes on? Yes. Okay. We're going to plate up? Yeah, well, no. Oh, we haven't, we haven't cooked the chicken yet. We haven't cooked the chicken and we haven't cooked the fried rice yet either. Oh, we have a lot to do. Yeah, so we're gonna. We do have like, ten minutes. Do we? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do this in ten minutes. Okay, so we're gonna put all of our let's put all of our meats back into the pot. Okay. I'm gonna do this quick. Your mom says, "Wow, so cool mushroom chart. How sweet." Rick says, "Peyotes are happy shrooms." Oh my. Goodness. Maria says, "Uh huh." Shane, she doesn't believe you. Yeah, she doesn't. Yeah, not she's not buying it's it. Because we like made a pizza, and she didn't. I don't remember everything that happened, which like. It was like, can we not put mushrooms on it or something? Like, on one pizza, and then forever she's like, you hate you hate mushrooms. No. Nope. Okay, so I just drained the oil out of there. Okay. But, um, but I'm going to use my hand because... We're going Hawaiian style. I'm super Hawaiian right now. Okay, so this is like, I don't know, three or four cups of, uh, of rice <clears throat> here. Just all in the skillet? Yep. Yep, so we've got it on a... Um, Is that going to be big enough? A medium, yeah, that'll okay, be Okay, good. you're good. Mm -hmm. We've got it on like a, a medium heat. And is this just sticky rice? Like yep. white sticky rice? White sticky rice. I cooked it in a rice cooker so I don't have to think about it. For those of you still watching, I am so sorry my camera work is a little weird. I have the camera flipped, so when I feel like I need to go right with the camera, it's actually left. <laughs> Because it's flipped, so it doesn't, it's not backwards for you. So it's a little funky. Yeah, so you can like read things, unless it's Norwegian. So you can, you can <laughs> unless it's Norwegian <laughs> or Japanese or whatever yeah. that other package was. Yep. In goes the spam. So for those of you just tuning in, we are making a teriyaki chicken and Hawaiian rice dinner. And if you missed the first part of the show, you can actually follow the link to the blog and it will give you all of the ingredients and instructions there. Okay, I just threw in some soy sauce. Oh, thanks, Rick. <laughs> and uh, the soy sauce is mostly just for color, so don't overdo it on the soy sauce because if somebody wants soy sauce, like they can add it in at the end. Make it saltier. Yeah, they can make it saltier. So 
That's my son. He adds like triple the amount of salt to everything he eats. It's a problem. I don't know why he's doing that, but. And if your pan's overflowing, it's like, it's more Hawaiian. Okay. So. Done. We're authentic. You're getting lots of likes and love. Good. Okay. I'm, I just, once I throw everything in, I kind of keep it in there. Um, normally I just do like a package of frozen peas and carrots. Cause like maybe I just That's have That's easier. That. Yeah. I just have okay. that. Okay. We, this is what we had today. This was yeah. what was in the fridge. So we're using the, uh, what do they call this? Carrot shreds. Carrot shreds. Shredded carrot. Shredded carrot. Yep. We're Adding throwing, it. We're just throwing in a bunch of that. Okay. Because we've got to get, get some vegetables in here. And you did have a pack of frozen peas. So I did. So Much to my brother's them. chagrin. I don't think he's watching it right now, but if he knew I had peas, he would think I was crazy sauce. Oh, that's right. He, he hates, hates peas. That's his one veto. I will not eat ever food. Okay, so we're just throwing those in there, straight out of the freezer. And that's no problem, right? Yeah. Say hi to Poppy, everyone. Hi, Poppy. Hey, Poppy. Okay, back to the food. Yeah, so since my, my carrots weren't cooked, um, I just threw them directly on the pan so that they would get a little bit of a little bit of love. You yeah. Know? Mm -hmm. um, but normally, when like they're they're cooked, like the really the peas, the peas are already cooked for the most part like they just need to be warmed up really yeah and so um unless you have uncooked peas which that's a different thing uh but you just want to you just want to get it in there with everything else rick so. says frozen peas are the best because they keep the snap see there i did it again i was like oh i need to go right but it was actually <laughs> left rick's got all kinds of knowledge he does it's because he's a an eight time eight time chili Chili champion, Chili champion, which I never saw if he said he shared the recipe. Rick, did you say you share the recipe or you keep it close to the chest? Because yeah. I have a friend slash neighbor who does have special recipes that she does not share. So that's a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. Especially if you're winning awards. Absolutely, if you you're winning awards. You can't be sharing that stuff. Close okay. to the chest, he says. That makes sense. He's award winning. Nice. Can't be passing out those recipes like candy. Um, I have a little bit of red onion. Do you want me to come see no, you over you're there? Just... Chop it up. Yeah, I'll just chop, chop. chop. It real quick. So, with those of you who are tuned in right now, do you like making fried rice? And how do you make it different? than what we have going on right now. I'm curious. So Susan, this is Hawaiian styled fried rice. So there's actually cooked Spam and peppered bacon, peas and shredded carrots. We're adding some red onion here. Uh, again, like normally I just put, normally I just do green onion, but I had onion. So I just kind of threw it in. Okay. I'm letting that cook a little bit. Um, I'm gonna turn up my heat just a hair. And did you add any oil into this when you started? I didn't because Just we had the, the soy grease. sauce. Well, we had the grease. And the grease from the bacon. From the bacon. Okay. Um, grease from the bacon. Rick said it, but it's made with three types of meat, homegrown spices. What? Homegrown spices? That's incredible. Um, I also throw in some green onion. Got it. Uh, usually you throw in some more at the end because it's like a, you know, like a garnish on top. Says it looks amazing. Oh man, that fell out. I'm gonna have to eat that. Yeah, you got it. Barbara likes to add pineapple. That mm. sounds good. Yeah. Susan was saying, was wondering what the square meat was. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is almost ready. Okay. And what we're gonna do right now we're missing an egg, right? We're missing an egg. All right. So you push, make sure you push. This is the time you actually have to push all of your ingredients to the side. Okay. And you want just a little bit of area. So you can scramble that baby. Yep. <laughs> I and love just... that. I was wondering what that square meat was. <laughs> <laughs> it was very, it was like brain surgery, Susan, to make it look like that. You'd have yeah. to watch it back to know exactly what I mean by saying that. But. Yeah. Okay, so let that cook. And the thing is, there's a couple ways to do this, and um, some people would freak out more than others, but you, you want to mix it in before it's fully cooked. 
and then it'll kind of help it disperse a little bit better. But uh, you can you can cook the whole thing, you know, flip it and then add it in if you want. Like it, it doesn't matter how you do it. But I kind of okay. I kind of get it in there before it's fully fully done. Rick says, "Be still, my heart." Josie says, "Watching this at night is dangerous. It looks deli delicious <laughs> and makes me hungry again." <laughs> Hashtag midnight snack. <laughs> Josie, come over. You live like five steps away. Is Josie your neighbor? Yeah. Why doesn't Josie ever come over? I don't know. I'm starting to come think over. she doesn't like us. She does scouts with me. That's love. <laughs> we are scout leaders together. That's cool. I didn't know you. Did. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Um. How's that? How like how old are you? How old are these kids? We have ten and eleven year olds, and so they are just. It's their last year in preparation for, like, the main scouts program. Mm, mm -hmm. And they have to learn all sorts of things that I do not understand. <laughs> like, knife skills. Totem chip. Uh, tying special knots. It's a major... Scouting is honorable. It is. And I think possibly the fact that I have three boys means I need to just know it really well yeah. by heart. All these things. That looks so good. Is that? Yeah. Okay. Good. So we are we are done with our fried rice. Okay. I'm just gonna throw a little bit more of that on there. Keep them on. Keep them on. Keep them on. Look at this container too. Like this is so old school. It's not even funny. Like that is the real deal. This is the real deal. Um. Okay. So our fried rice is done. Square knot is the scout's best knot. Yeah. It's a pretty easy one too. I'm Josie gonna... says she's running over. You better, girl. Come yeah, on over. Come over. I'm serious. I mean, we're se we are serious. We're so serious. Look at all this food. Like, like Camille and I can eat all of this. Well, Paul is around. Paul is around. but And he, he might eat it all. He what has, if he falls in love with Spam and he normal. makes me cook it <laughs> all the time? He has a normal appetite like every other person. Thank Camille. you, Ernest, for sharing. He has a normal appetite. <laughs> yeah, he does have a normal <laughs> appetite. You got some crap the last time. Oh, yeah. Like, my husband, ate my husband takes big bites. I didn't say he eats a ton. Okay, well, you said something. I that. said he takes big bites. That's a husband bite because his, <laughs> his mouth is a lot bigger than mine. <laughs> Come on, guys. That's not a bad thing to say, is Do it? You have just regular oil, like a vegetable oil? Yeah. Okay. Uh, just, there's a olive oil just there. Oh, okay. Do you want that? that? Okay. I would normally just pick some. Um, just tuned in. What's going on? Recap. So, Leslie, hi. Uh, this is, let me go opposite way, there we go. So this is Hawaiian fried rice. It has Spam, bacon, red onion, egg, peas, shredded carrots, sticky white rice, and Kikoman soy sauce. Did I get it all? Yeah, you did. That was excellent. Boom. Yeah, Rick, a husband bite. It's a real thing. I need support on that. <laughs> Does anyone know what I mean? It's real. Husband bites are real. Shane's fried rice is seriously the most amazing stuff ever, says Heather Justice. Oh, Heather, thanks. You had me at spam, says Leslie. <laughs> Keating, your sweet sister. What up, Lester? Okay, I'm so bad with this. There we go. Zooming in. Right is left, left is right. There we go. Okay, so because we're at the end of our hour here. Oh, we'll... an egg. Thank you, Melissa. I forgot to say egg. They are totally real. See, Josie? Come over and get your husband a husband bite. Okay, so... Oh, I, so now it's chicken time. Now it's chicken time. Okay. We marinated it earlier. For those who are just tuning in, we put in one part sugar, one part uh, kikoman soy sauce. And you have to mix it with your hand until all the grains are gone. And then you just add chicken, and you can stop there. Or you can do what we did, and we added uh, minced garlic, fresh grated ginger, some mirin... Um, that and what else did we throw in there? You can throw in some onion, you know, however, like get, get some extra flavors in there. So I've just put some uh, oil, uh, whatever oil you've got handy. We used olive oil because that's what was sitting on the counter. And then I also added in a little bit of pure sesame oil. Done. Because uh, I don't have any sesame seeds, so, you know, to make you want a little extra. And you want to have this. So okay, come look at this. Can you zoom in on this? Yep. See, we only we only had it. This only marinated for an hour, but like that's like some good good color action going oh, on. Oh yeah, that's looking really good. Oops, sorry. 
So Margarita says, I agree, when you offer your husband a bite of something, their bite is mar much larger than the one you would take, right? <laughs> I can never share dessert with my husband because he always eats. Oh, I shouldn't talk like this. No. I love my husband. You're back on this. Oh, sorry, husband. <laughs> you guys want to see my husband? Ta-da. My bites are perfectly normal. See, but it's true, though, because we can take squirrel bites. <laughs> It's called bird bites, isn't it? Squirrel. Squirrel. It's like a little squirrel with his acorn. Okay, I'm fine with that. Because I think dessert should be savored, right? So we can never share dessert. It's a bad, it's a bad mix because he eats it so much more quickly than I can or okay. want to. I made my, my oil too hot. Oh, okay. And it's starting to burn because oh. it's like it's sesame oil. Okay, gotcha. Um, so I just, just take it off for a sec try and cool it off a little bit. Um, but we're just going to pan fry this. Okay. Really simple. Nell so, says, I still make that rice you taught me. Nell. Nell, I taught her when I was in high school. No way. Yeah, so that's over 10 years ago. That's cool. Yeah. So was she one of your exes you were talking about? <laughs> <laughs> friend's mom. Friend's mom. Oh, friend's mom. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I'm keeping my distance because I've already been splattered. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's hot. Yep. Shouldn't be this hot, but um, I'm funny. just I'm stepping further back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually when we when I was doing when I was doing teriyaki chicken then I did it in a I just boiled it. So like one part water, one or two parts water, one part soy sauce, one part um, sugar, and then I would just boil it and like leave it for you know. 30 minutes or 40 minutes or however long. Mm -hmm. um, and I would always do that chicken breast. So it's like, this is, this is like more true to my mom's recipe. Okay. Um, and what she does. So this is going to take a while, but, uh, but this is, this is pretty much the end of it. Once this cooks, we're, um, once this cooks, like it'll, that's, that's the, that's the end of cooking anyways. Okay. But, so you did chicken breasts on this recipe though, right? No, I did thighs on this Oh, one. you did thighs. Yep. I wondered, they did seem more fatty. Yep, yep, they are, and they taste a little bit better. Ah, got to mix in with that spam. Yep, yep, definitely. Um, and you, I don't know if, how you guys... <gasps> oh, shoot, I've been missing all of these comments. I'm oh. so sorry. For those on a low sodium diet, Kikoman makes low sodium sauce. It has a green lid. It's the best, said Nell, as she laughed. <laughs> we get separate pints of Ben and Jerry's. Right, Margarita? I know, you need your own. <laughs> Rick says, who cleans up the oil splatter, LOL? We do, we do a combined effort. We do. We clean up together, is. which is super nice. Yeah. And Daniel says, yum, bring me some, Shane. <laughs> Daniel Jerome, does he live close by? He lives in Woodcross. Oh, yeah, so close. Yeah. I'm still waiting, Josie. Is it? Yeah. I'm still waiting for like a knock at the door. I know. Like, Josie just just uh, text me because if you knock, the dog barks really loud. <laughs> and then the children. Oh, official taste tester seeking job. Skills include tasting delicious food you prepare. Says Josie. <laughs> come on over. Okay, so when you do this, do you want to come in tight? Yep. Um. So I just flipped it. Okay. But you want? So this is like. You want it like a little more blackened and brown, so like closer to that color. Do you see that color right there? Yeah. There? You want that all over the chicken. So it's nice and sugar glazed. Yep. You want some nice sugar glazed action happening. Got it. So, so yeah, that's what that's what it should look like. It's still splattering me. I know. I'm sorry. I know. Fine. I'm definitely gonna have to clean your stuff. Yeah, I think it's gonna this. be you. No. <laughs> You're the official onion cutter. That's that's, true. that's a thing because I cry like a baby every time. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just check on another thing. So did Doesn't you sing? Good? Did you sing to your mother for Mother's Day? I did. Did you whip out the song? Why? No. She got. She got the. She got the show. Okay. So. <laughs> super funny because my mom didn't see the show live, and my sister kept dropping hints like, "Hey, did you tune in and see Shane's cooking show?" And. Uh, and so finally she watched it and then I got, I got all these texts and she posted it on Facebook and Aww. you know, she was, she, as soon as she saw it, she was proud mama. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Probably watched it three times. 
His moms are awesome like that. So for those of you just tuning in, here is the fried rice action. You can see there's spam, and egg, and onion, and peas. What am I forgetting? Bacon. Carrot. Carrot. And you can share this to your wall so that you can watch it on later. And please go to our page, My Mommy Style, and it's it's Whore Locker. And like our page, we are live every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And we would love to have some likes on our page, if you would be so willing. Yeah, show us some love, because we love you guys. Red Onion, yeah. We do love you guys, especially for those of you who keep tuning in. We appreciate that so much. Oh, thanks for always joining us. I do, I'm especially impressed with people, oh, your phone's got grease all over. I'm You're so splattering sorry. all over. Um, like Maria, Maria tunes in there an hour later. You yeah. Know, so she's tuning in at 10 o'clock. Oh, that's awesome. And we're now into 11 for her. So love you guys on the East Coast and the Midwest. Yes, thank you for the love. It's hard to know exactly what time to do it because I have all these little kids running around and keeping the schedule the same. So thank you for tuning in with us, even when it's late. Yeah, so if you look, we're getting a little bit to the color that we want. Oh, yeah. Want a little, little blackened. Um, okay, so another thing. Tracy says, you guys are awesome. Love your shows. Thanks, Tracy. Thanks, Tracy. I think I she's been with us every time. I know. Tracy, Tracy, we love you. Um, you can also just throw this right on the grill, uh, especially about summer coming up here. And, you know, marinate it just the same. Throw it on the grill. Let it go. Love I love cooking on the grill, especially in the summer. Yeah. Rick says, you guys are worth watching. M much respect. Oh, thanks, oh, Rick. Thanks, Rick. Barbara says, it's 12.07 a.m. here now. Barbara! Barbara! You're awesome. That is late. Yeah. You're, you're cooking the midnight oil with us. <laughs> is that what it's midnight oil? Cooking the midnight. You could bake too, Sesame says oil. Leslie. Oh, your mom, your mom, or your sister thinks you should bake. I should bake? Yeah. See, it's funny, because I actually... I cook, I bake like one thing and that's bread and it's legit and delicious and I learned it on a farm in Virginia so that's how you know it's good and but I don't like baking typically because there's too much science involved it is more precise yeah. it's not just like throw everything in in the kitchen sink you have to be a little more specific yeah, yeah. like I'm not even sure if people can cook this if they don't watch the video because <laughs> there's so many things where I'm just like oh yeah I forgot to mention that I add that in and you know, because, yeah, because it's just like whatever. Yeah. But baking, it's like this many of this chemical and this of this chemical. <laughs> and then you get this perfect cake because I have screwed up baking so hard. Sarah says this is her first time watching. Sarah, thanks for Daniel being here. says Shane makes good drinks. I, I love to make some mocktails. Good Let's do that. Yeah, we should do that. Yeah. Rick well, says, I can't go. bake to save my life. I can cook anything else, but baking is a no-go. See, maybe it's like a male brain thing. I don't know. But I've heard that. But Rachel Ray talks about that, too, where she's right. like, I love to cook. I hate okay, to bake. Male brain thing. I think it's more like maybe you're a baker or you're a, a I cooker. Think so. I leave the baking to the professionals. Yeah. Or maybe, I don't know what it is, but it's something. You if can you watching, can make good donuts, said Sarah Gentry. Ooh, oh, I can make donuts. You're holding out on me. I know. There's I donuts? Forgot. Well, it's because I make them on the stove. Oh, well, that's oh. okay. My sister has a good pastry chef friend. Can you name Sarah? Yeah, Sarah. See, I leave, I leave things like bacon to Sarah. So... This is like, this is pretty good. Like, this is about where we want it. I like it just a little darker than this. Okay. A little more caramelized, but, but yeah, this is good to go. Jumana says she loves baking. Really? What do you what like do to you bake? Make? Yeah, tell us what you guys like to bake. Yeah. Because I struggle with baking. So give us some ideas for our future shows. And we'll make Canil bake because, ow, I'm not the baker. <laughs> And I so am. Yeah. I make like a few cakes a year for my kids. Which is. I have really good cookies. Probably 400% more than I do. 
Well, there you go. <laughs> I can make really good oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, like, I really you good. Your cookie recipes out there, what do you like to bake? Tell us what you guys to bake. Maria said when she first met you, you taught her how to bake your bread. I did. I did. Thank you for sharing, Julie. We love you. Yeah, I love that bread. It's so good. I learned it from a Whittier um, and on their farm. So those of you who are just tuning Kyle's in. Married to a Whittier, by the way. I don't know what that means. Kyle's been on here. Oh, he's okay. Kyle Hardman, he's married to a Whittier and her mom taught me. Uh, Rick cook. says, sear that chicken and throw it in the oven. You know what? That is a great idea. If you just like broil it for the, it, instead of doing it this way, that, that's, my mom does it that way too sometimes. It's getting hot. It is. And really <laughs> messy. <laughs> it is. I know. So sorry about it. <laughs> it's okay. Are you plating up? I am. So do okay. you, you're not chopping it up and putting it in the rice, you're just putting it on the side? Yep. Yep, just put it on the side. Okay. Just some awesome. Susan says, I'm a baker in the winter and it pretty much stays winter in Michigan three-fourths of the year. That's true. <laughs> Sarah says, banana chocolate chip cookies. I'll send the recipe. Awesome. Oh, that sounds, that sounds so really good. good. Ta-da. That looks amazing. Wait, hold it there. I need to get that good money shot. Money. That looks really good. Yeah. You should try the oatmeal cookies with butterscotch chips. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh, that was like surround sound. <laughs> Sheena, we like that idea. So should I pop us back around here? Yeah. Okay. Look, we're on the same Ta -da! place again. Hello. That looks so good. Josie, get your little booty over Seriously, here. Seriously, <laughs> Josie. Who wants to see Josie come over to the house oh, right now? Oh, maybe she could come over fast enough. That would yeah. be cool. Yeah. Give Josie, us some, get in your car. Give us some likes. You don't even get in your car. Just sprint. Just yeah, just... Maybe she's in her PJs and she doesn't want to come over. You need to let us know because we will wait. Yeah. Uh, yep, we're going to wait here. Ooh, with orange zest, too. Ooh. I don't know. I don't have orange sets. So I oh, I have um, mandarin oranges over there. Oh. Um, so I had some friends that they came up with this cookie recipe because they got mm -hmm. like snowed in, like legit uh -huh. snowed in for days. And so they were like... That sounds serious. It was serious. They were like way up in the mountains and stuck, you know? So yeah. they just like, they cooked, like one day they cooked... Oh, we're getting some likes Josie, for... Josie! 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 I'm just holding the phone here, so I'm sorry if it's getting jittery. Maybe I should put it back in. Yeah, and then... Okay. Um, yeah, so they, they like, they basically just, they have these like everything but the, the hi. kitchen hi, hi, sink hi. Uh, cookies that they invented while okay. stuck in a cabin okay. for, for two days. Um, so great things can happen in your kitchen when you're trapped there. <laughs> yes. How tight do you want it? Is that um, good? Yeah, maybe you just back it up and put it, point it down a little bit. We're still getting likes for Josie. I'm yeah, Josie, saying. get over here. Yeah. Peanut butter cream puffs, says Barbara. Is that, is that your favorite or is that something you make? Tell us everything. Yeah. Um, so should we taste That's test probably this a little good. bit? Is it too hot? Are we waiting for Josie? Mm -hmm. Josie, are you coming? Josie. Josie, get over here. Josie, come over. And you did promise you were going to play a song. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, while it's it cooling. Too, yeah. Um, but I you, like should, you could try the, you could try the, um, for your eyes. You so Shane's going to play a song for us and we're going to see if Josie shows up. I don't know. I don't know if she is. We chanted for her, but maybe, maybe she's not wanting to be on camera. Yeah. I don't know. Should I push it back or do we like scrunching it? We just, we're just like, Hi guys. just lean in. Just lean in. Lean in. Lean in. Shane in. makes spam. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to. I haven't warmed up. Okay. We've got our handy dandy. You uh, have um, glasses, so the splatter doesn't mess It protects you. my eyes, yeah. Because I can, can you see the oil on it? Yes. Them? And that's the oil that went right in my face. <laughs> it's not fair. Come in closer, Camille. Get really close get, in there. Can you get tight on this shot yeah, and uh -huh. it sears your skin? I really did. Get a couple good ones. 
Um, I did get some good ones too. It yeah. makes you feel better. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna give it a little sound bite. for that rendition of it. I, I, yeah, I switched I it up a little one. bit. Yeah, yeah it is. Okay. Everybody, he, he made that really popular. But, you know, and then, you know, the Wizard of Oz. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Anyways. Somewhere. Okay, should yeah, let's we? Let's do this. Josie commented, but I couldn't quite see Josie, what it was. Josie, where what are you? Said. Camille, you look amazing. You don't want this, this hot, hot mess, mess over there. there. Oh, oh, well, girl, you still <laughs> should come. We can turn off the camera and you can get it then. Okay. Should we eat this? Let's yes. see Okay. I want the chicken. I want some chicken. I do too. Get out of here. See, it, we're not we're not fighting. Hey, Paul, you want to get in on this? <laughs> I'm a hot mess too. <laughs> no. Good. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. I know I gotta get some rice action in here. I need to try spam. Mm. First time. First time, or should I just try it alone? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's not bad. No, it's not. It's very salty, right? Yeah. It's like salty pork. Mm-hmm. And like, I think it's, it's... very salty. I think it probably would taste even better with a bite of rice. Yeah. To like balance it out. Yeah, for sure. Oh, thanks for all the claps, Christine, Betty, um, Jolene Gomez. You two are so fun. Refreshing. Love it. Food and uh, entertainment. Oh, thanks, Jolene. Jolene. Made my heart happy. Thanks, Lena. I so need as this, needed this. Yeah. Lena, you're awesome. You guys are awesome. Thanks so much. Is that all we have for today? She said, oops, needed. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So thank you for watching through with us. Keep in mind that we will be live again next Tuesday night at 9 p.m. We have Mountain Standard Time. Mountain Standard Time. And please like our pages, My Mommy Style and It's Her Locker. We would love that. And share this to your wall so you can skip through the stages and the preps that you need to go through and if you want to link to the instructions you can find that in the description below or above yeah. depending on whichever it is and I will be live on my mommy style at 9 o'clock p.m. Mountain Standard Time on Thursdays so you can check in with me there too so yeah. thank you yeah, thank for you. sharing this amazing dish thanks for eating it with me yeah 
And things, should I just play us out? Play us out. Play us out while, yeah. you, while you get us, get us. While I flow over. We're going to have to talk about that because I was a professional dancer. Oh, see, that's just embarrassing. No, no, it's good, but I can show you. I can teach you. It's okay. Good. It's good. Maybe next time.